Before you ride, perform the pre-ride inspection as described in the owner's manual. Warning! Read, understand, and follow all of the instructions, warnings, and safety precautions in the owner's manual and on all product labels. Failure to follow these instructions, warnings, and safety precautions could result in serious injury or death. Visually inspect the vehicle looking for debris, leaks, and worn components that may impair the vehicle's operation. Pay particular attention to the radiator area for the accumulation of dirt and debris that may cause the engine to overheat. Check the condition of the tires looking for any signs of punctures or damage, and verify proper tread depth. Check the tire pressures and verify that they are to specification. Inspect the suspension for leaks, debris, and damage. Inspect the brake pads and rotors looking for leaks, corrosion, nicks, and burrs. Inspect the drive chain for wear or damage. Next, we will inspect the fluid levels. Ensure the bike is level in a well-ventilated area. Inspect the fuel level. Inspect the front brake reservoir for proper fluid level. Also, inspect the rear brake reservoir for proper fluid level. Tip. Use a flashlight to illuminate the brake fluid reservoirs. Next, we need to inspect the engine oil level. To do this, start the engine and allow it to idle for one to two minutes. Stop the engine. Using an assistant, hold the bike in an upright and level position. Inspect the engine oil sight glass and ensure the level is between the two indicator marks. Caution. Operating with insufficient, deteriorated, or contaminated engine oil will cause accelerated wear and may result in engine or transmission seizure, which could result in a loss of control and serious injury or death. Add oil as needed through the oil fill plug. Caution! Do not overfill. Overfilling can result in a loss of engine performance in an oil-saturated air filter. Use a suction device to remove excess oil if overfilled. Power on the bike and inspect the headlight high beam, low beam, and passing lamp. Then check the operation of the tail light and brake lights and license plate light. Operate the turn signals and hazard warning flashers. Verify that the horn operates properly. <coughs> Check the operation of the handlebars while sitting on the vehicle. They should turn smoothly from full left to full right. Verify proper pedal and lever movement. Operate the throttle, brake, and clutch levers, taking note of any binding or sticking. Place the transmission in neutral and verify the neutral indicator illuminates on the instrument cluster. Start the engine and verify the low oil pressure light is not illuminated. With the engine running, move the run stop start switch to the stop position and ensure the engine stops. Operate the side stand and verify smooth operation. Ensure the side stand indicator on the instrument cluster, if equipped, is functioning properly. Caution. An improperly retracted side stand could contact the ground and cause a loss of control, resulting in serious injury or death. Always retract the side stand fully before operating the motorcycle. Adjust your side mirrors as needed. For more information, see your authorized Indian motorcycle dealer or visit IndianMotorcycle.com.